Hi guys! Meanwhile, in Norway, these are typical Norwegian corona-free news, and I promise you, really corona-free. And we will start with our proud past. You know, us Norwegians, is it something that we love and that we are proud of? It's being alone. <laughs> yes, and uh, being introvert and all of that. But it's also our history. And this summer of 2020, the metal detecting hobby has exploded. Oh, those boring people. Well, you know, during this pandemic, you shouldn't stay in crowds. So why not go out on the fields, out in the nature with this metal detecting thing and go beep, 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 beep. And this summer, it's been really beep, 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 oh, beep. Jesus. Yes, and you know what is coming up from the earth? Yeah, metal. Our proud Viking past. During the summer of 2020, each week there is now news about a bloody, big, beautiful Viking sword crawling up from the earth or some lovely jewelry up from the earth. And Norwegians are, ooh, 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 we love it because this is, well, it's not who we are now, really, it's not. Uh, now we are neurotic, uh, too liberal, and blah, 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 Scandinavians. But to see our swords, our jewelry from the past have made us very, very happy. I get more fun news from Norway. Uh, around these times, there's a new television program that has been launched on our public broadcaster. What is it about you and, uh, and, and those kind of okay. stuff? <laughs> well, you know, they define or, or they, they went out talking to youngsters, young people all over the uh, Norway, and they found out that yes, it's very good, you know, kids and teenagers and young people are communicating on social platforms, you know, like Instagram, Snapchat and uh, TikTok. Yeah. And they are showing beautiful pictures, they are mm, posing, they are dancing, whatever. I mean, all the things that you try to show and talk about in these social platforms. But they realize that there is something we are not talking about. That there is something we are not showing. Oh, yeah, I think I know. Yeah. So, it might be in your forehead? Uh, uh, kind of. So then uh, they found out that uh, young people, young girls, they don't talk about the menstruation. So they just launched a new uh, television show called The Period, where they invite Norwe famous Norwegian girls and women to talk about their experiences, th their struggles, what they wanted to know about the period when they grew up. It is really interesting. And this is very typical Norwegian, I would say also Nordic. Nothing is taboo. Menstruation is natural. It's about life and death. It's very bloody, yes. But it's real and it's a part of nature. And we have to talk about it. <laughs> and finally, <laughs> we have some happy fish news. Oh dear, I broke your uh, <laughs> ceiling over there, sorry. Oh. <laughs> you know, Norway is not a part of the European community, <laughs> so it means that we have total control of our borders and our seas. And we are very strict when it comes to fishing or overfishing. The science, they are measuring, they are saying you can fish that much and that much and blah blah blah. Very, very strict. And, and the thing, oh, oh, it's really heavy, oh, really heavy. Oh, yeah. Uh, as a consequence of this so strict <laughs> law, is that uh, there is a fish, a huge, big, big fish that has been coming to Norway this uh, last year. Oh, it's really heavy. Uh, and this fish, I'm sure, oh, big fish, I'm, I'm sure you guys know 
know this and you know the taste of it. Oh, well, hey, I know we stole it from another country. <laughs> no, they, it came here volunteer actually, this fish. Due to our strict law, what is happening? <laughs> In the rest of the world, the big tuna fish is gone, more or less. It's been hunted down. There's almost impossible to catch uh, 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 five, uh, four hundred kilos uh, of tuna fish. Yeah, but who likes fish? Tuna fish is lovely. But in Norway, now, in the summer of 2020, there are so much big tuna fish in our seas and in our fjords. And this summer, for the first time in 30 years, Norwegian uh, fishermen could go out and fish for it. So now each week there's a new new story about some lucky fisherman catching a 300 ah, kilo of tuna fish inside an apartment in Oslo with uh, some kind of washing gear. Yeah, but you know what I mean, guys. So it's not a commercial hunt, really, because you cannot sell. It's just for science. We want to know more about why these huge uh, beautiful fishes is it sound to uh, catch them is it sound to fish them and all of that so it's science okay guys what's that the corona big oh, oh corona free news from your country oh we need it now we are so tired of that corona pandemic so please share with us your typical corona free news oh and for more updates, don't forget to push the bell and subscribe and like if and you like this video. Everything. Yeah. We love you guys. You guys motivate us to fish more, make more. Okay, guys, that was it. See you soon. Bye bye. Love you all. Bye. Ah.